Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Mary Spender and you are watching Tuesday Talks. This week I am going to focus on my favourite guitar pedal and that is this bad boy. Oh yeah, I wanted to talk about this because I bought it in January earlier this year, 2016, and before it I didn't really play with any pedals. I used a clean tone, I was really proud of just being clean and then I realised that there was this other world and I know you may think I'm stupid for, for saying that and admitting it but it's kind of true and I was there like thinking that it was all down to the guitar and to some extent it is, playability and all that malarkey, it is um, but it's also down to the sound that the guitar runs through and this is Turnip Greens uh, made by Electro Harmonics who they have a wide array of just sound boxes, essentially. I just thought I'd demonstrate it. Don't expect a comprehensive review. Don't expect any technical jargon. I'm just gonna show you how it helps me sound the way I do. Housed in this die-cast casing, which I think is quite beautiful, and I was kind of taken aback by the design on it and the name. Turnip Greens is kind of, uh, kind of a strange one. Um, but it houses two pedals in one, and that's the Holy Grail Max on the left-hand side and Soul Food. So Holy Grail is reverb, Soul Food is overdrive. And to me, it's just like the perfect bluesy pedal because that's all you need, right? Obviously you can, you can uh, muck about with loads of other effects and stuff, but this is the core of my sound. So I keep my pedal board quite nice and simple. Um, I like to get lost when I'm playing guitar because I'm usually singing at the same time and I just want to concentrate on the storytelling. So I keep my pedal board simple um, and I really only have a tuner, a delay and uh, a boost pedal on it at the moment. It's super, super small. Um, one of my favourite guitarists at the moment is Zane Carney, who used to play for John Mayer and is a solo artist in his own right. And his pedal boards are outrageous. They're so cool. Um, but for me, I would just, I, I wouldn't know where to begin. And I've always been a little bit nervous using pedal boards, but um, this, gave me the confidence and, and the sound to back it up. It was, it's incredible. But it, it boosts and blends really nicely. There's like a little blend knob here. And it's got four reverbs. Now I don't use all of them, but I'll demonstrate them. Um, and then obviously the drive over here, which can, you know. And you can also change the circuitry. So you can have Holy Grail running into Soul Food or Soul Food running into Ho Holy Grail. So either the overdrive gets a reverb kick on top of it or the reverb gets overdriven. Like, it's it's really cool. <laughs> I think that's all I'll be saying for this whole pedal and this whole video is just that it's really cool. This isn't an ad. I did buy this in January. I bought it from a Bristol store called PMT which I think is a hilarious name for a guitar store run mainly by men, uh, but it stands for Professional Music Technology. And I fell in love. So here we go. Okay, so I've got a camera on top of the Turnip Greens and obviously a camera on me. And this is running directly into Logic Pro X. It's completely clean, no amplifier, no effects, no compression, nothing. This doesn't even have the turnip greens on yet, okay? I'm gonna turn on the Holy Grail Max, and this is going initially, as you can see, here. The feed is into Holy Grail Max first, and then out through Soul Food. But 
let's whack the time on a full blast. Okay, and then I'll just diminish the time slightly. I'll keep the blend as it is and then switch to hall. Kind of my favorite one to mess around with. And this is red for reverse. So those are the reverbs. And now uh, I'm gonna keep it on Holy Grail Max going through and then head on to the overdrive. You can hear how dry it is, but that's because there's no reverb on it. And it's just the overdrive. So if we, I might just turn it up a little bit in volume and also turn up the overdrive. So that is the overdrive. So overdrive's a little bit, bit simpler. So now I'm gonna add my favorite setting. Take off the time, take off the blend a little bit. I'm just going to finish the demonstration by playing a little jam I've written and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you next week. <laughs>